What up, peeps? It's Slip Gator and John Bade back in our friggin', uh, I'm just gonna say it, ridiculously sexy factory, playing some more satisfactory. Hey, John. It's a very satisfactory, sexy factory. Yes, yes, it, I agree. It looks How you doing? good. I'm doing great. How are, <clears throat> how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking, my good man. Dude, so check it out. We got all the stuff and things. In the last episode, we finally finished the automation of, what, rods and plates and got some sexy storage up and running. Mm -hmm. So we're good to go there. And we have double X storage on the back. I like that, the double X. The double X storage. Dude, that's kind of where it's at, right? I mean, you saw it here first. We invented it. Double X storage. Bam. It's an infinity double X, too, because it kind of looks... Oh, I, I went to the stink forest again. I hate that. Uh, it, yeah, it looks like kind of like infinity X, so we have double infinity X going on. Yeah, it's great. But, uh, okay, so that was last episode. Today, what, automation of screws and reinforced iron plates, probably? Yes, assemblizations. But, and, and we're going to do that so that we can upgrade our space elevator... Because the next tier here requires, what, 50 rotors and 75 reinforced iron plates? Yep. And, you know, why do that in your inventory We can when you do it automation-wise? Did you know these have inputs on them, too? I did, dude. On the sides back over yeah. here, there's it's, inputs. There's, like, three on each side. Or the yeah. two sides. Which so, is interesting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe yeah, we could automate it completely. Stuff. Maybe we could just automate it completely and have them make our rotors and, and plates and just run it in the hole. Yeah, but we, we, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, John. I, I made my reinforced iron plates. They're already in there. I, I already put them in. I just made I, them in my inventory. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I made rotors already, too. And I'm just going to put them in there because, I, you know, I did. And yoink seal. Seal. Wait, I, I it wouldn't seal. I kiss by my rose. We're sealing. Ah! Okay, it pushed in the hole. Send! Yoink! And then we're sending it! And there's no there's no earth-shattering kaboom. There's nothing. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, all, for all that it did yeah. when we placed it to... When you up... Man. Well, it's probably coming in a future update. There will be more animations. But, um... So, that does unlock, what? Tier 3 in the hub, right? Yep. We have coal power, logistics MK2, rebar gun, medicinal inhaler. Wait, I think what? You the, That's you amazing. Have, I think you have to sign a release form to use the medicinal inhaler. We got the medicinal inhaler? Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, wait. So, tier three, tier two is done. Tier three, tractor, truck station. So, we need some rotors and, and reinforced iron plates to do all of these things. So, that's kind of like, yeah, the tier three, the next level. Yeah, and the logistics one, the MK2, that takes reinforced plates to make those as well. So And the rebar gun. And, the, yeah, the medicinal inhaler. All of the things. Medicinal inhaler. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they have like, right. a cherry flavor, because that medicinal cherry is better than medicinal <laughs> grape. It's probably that gross Robitussin grape. <laughs> it's pale berry. It's pale, pale berry. Pale berry. Dude, I wonder if we can robo trip it out over here in our yeah. alien world. Dude, and then drive the, tr <laughs> and then drive the trucks. Yeah. <laughs> so we need assemblers next, right? Uh, we need I probably need to do one more constructor to get the uh, rods into screws. Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's true. And then, then, and you know what? I think did we just put these storages down to rearrange stuff because they're empty and they're not connected to anything? We could probably move those out and then run a couple out from our current X format to it to get the screws going, and then maybe put the assemblers back here or something. Yeah, uh, back over in that area, we could, I guess. I don't know. However you want to do it. Yeah. Um, let's I'm see. down, man. Let's. Let, how about we set up actual machines over here so it looks nice and clean? Because we have a really nice and clean looking base. And yeah, yeah I, I'm down with keeping it that way. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what you're feeling, but you know. You know, I watched a lot of videos of people playing this, and I gotta <laughs> say, man, our base is pretty friggin' sexually attractive and clean. Oh, sexually attractive. Oh my God! So, so that's S A A C sack. We've got a sack base. Yeah, we got a sack base, dude. Oh, and I'm carrying nuts. Oh my God! This is like dude, heaven. This is amazing. Yes, sir. Um, can we? Oh wait, does that work? Mm hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Like build wait, railings no, around guy. stuff. Well, railings around the the area here where we're going to around yeah. the. The weird forest deals, so we don't start taking damage. Oh, like the warning area, like you know, do not enter. This, this is a stink oh, forest. This is weird. 
I can only build this. You have to. It's the that angle is. you're looking at it where it's going to snap to that affects the direction some too. Oh, you're in the stink no, forest. Watch out. I can't build it on this one foundation. Every other foundation, there's like, it's like every other. That is really weird. Maybe it doesn't like how it smells right there. Maybe. Like right now, I can't. That is so weird, dude. So if you put I, one next to where you want it, I think it'll snap to it, though. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get building, man. Let's do some stuff and things, and then we'll come back and show the peeps. Okay. I'm ready. Hey, Slip. Yeah. <laughs> I have something in my hand. Is it appropriate for viewers? Uh, depends on what kind of view you are, maybe. There might be someone that <laughs> might not be appropriate for, because you know how this world is these days. Dude, what is that? It's a scanner thing, Blipper. The fisted Blipper? What? Yeah, you can scan for things. Like, right now we have unlocked regular power slugs for it, and then I can press left click and look for nuts. So if I want slugs or nuts, nut slugs. Dude, nuts and slugs, slugs and nuts. Where do you make that thing? Over there? Over this yep. guy? Yep, yep, yep. And it takes beacons and stuff, and it blips when you get closer to whatever you're scanning for. I'm going to make an object scanner right now, man. I want to see how this works. It's pretty cool. And when you tap right click, it'll toggle through whatever you can scan for at the current moment, which again, nuts and slugs. Hold on here. Right click. Power slugs, nuts. Power slugs, nuts. And then left Power click slugs. brings out the radial. And if there's a slug over here on this cliff and you can kind of test it, like when you're looking at it, it blips. And as you get closer, it blips more. Oh, so it's not like a scan deal like the other one. It's like nope. a blip deal. The beaconage. Interesting. And why do we need power slugs, John? Well, we have done a little bit of work over here, actually. We haven't showed them yet. We have the re full reinforced plate uh, production line created, but there's not enough in, uh, incoming matter <laughs> that we needed to do. So we need to find a way to overcharge or overload our system to increase the amount of production of iron rods to screws to and make more reinforced plates. How are we going to do that slip? Good question. Well, we're going to actually have to do power slugs. Power slugs are actually able to go in the slots of these machines and increase their output, also drawing more power at the same time. Did it, sh did it show? <laughs> Does it show now? If we go up to the... Wait, let's just yeah, go find be, a constructor. You got slots. We got slots. We got the slots. This bottom here, you see the clock yeah. speed slots? And those are so power can, shards that go in there. Yeah, so we can overclock machines to make them run faster, but they're going to utilize more power. And the reason that we're trying to do that is because we have set up this guy here, uh, a new constructor making screws that feeds into the storage that comes over here to the assembler that puts iron plates and screws together to make the uh, reinforced iron plates, but this is bottlenecking, and I think we're bottlenecking on screws. Yep, we we're not getting and enough screws, because by the time, it's, well, now it's doing the screws, and no, yeah, we're still waiting. So when it's done, still waiting. it still has, it needs 12 more screws. So if we can double the output of the screws, the problem is, though, is that these conveyors are also running at max speed. They can carry up to 60 resources per minute, and it looks like it's full. So we're also going to be upgrading the conveyor belt to do 120 resources. But if we do that, we're still not getting enough screws to manage it. So we got to do the whole thing we're talking about doing. Right. Well, I think it's actually with the screws, it's 90 per minute on the conveyors because they're different. They're right, 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 right. But so all we right, make it let's, 180 let's, then. Let's break this down. So we don't have enough screws. So then this is the maximum amount of screws that can come out of this conveyor. So in order to make more things go on the conveyor, we need the upgraded conveyors. And we can build those guys... Uh, already. Wait, no, not yet. No, we haven't. We have not researched that just yet. We're almost at we that point. Researched it, but, but it, it, it won't also, matter. Coming out of the storage here, we'll need to have the upgraded conveyor so it can handle all the extra screws coming into the assembler too. Right, and then we'll need to put an overclocker on this constructor, but also we'll probably need to start feeding in um, more iron rods, and that means that these constructors need to be overclocked and. All of the feed uh, conveyors need to be upgraded as well so that we can maximize the production of the reinforced iron plate. And that is a, we have one other option, which is just to build more constructors and stuff. But I like this one better because it's more technologically advanced. Yeah. And that's kind of the point of the game. Like, that's what makes Satisfactory fun is finding an opportunity where you can do something really simple, like make your reinforced iron plates faster. But in order to do that, it takes a lot of work. So it's pretty cool. I like that. The progression is good. Yeah, um, and so in order to do this, then that's all going to boil down to we need a lot more power. Mm-hmm. You need a lot of power. Order, in order to do that, we have unlocked the coal power plant. 
And inside right the coal power plant, we've we've got something else unlocked too. Oh yeah. Well, the uh, tractor nailed it. Ace, it can't be stopped. You ready to make tractor? I made mine. Dude, I made my tractor. Wait, why is mine not driving? Where's my inventory? You need bio stuff and things, man. I have bio on me. All right, I'm gonna put it in here. So the tractor, we're gonna open the workbench, fill this bad ombre like so, and then yoink. I'm tractoring, yo! Whoa! 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 Dude, that whoa, collision John. is interesting, man. Yoink! Dude, what? <laughs> bumper tractors are a thing. <laughs> we can build a bumper tractor. You can't right? catch me! Can't catch me! Is there, I wish there was a little uh, short turbo. Oh, yeah, a little turbo boost would be great. Okay, okay. Hey, I'll get you on the back. ledge. Oh, I can't. Here we go. Uh, uh. Um, okay, we need to press, okay, we need to get off and press C to get our find out where a coal thing is. Right. Um, oh, also, I just want to mention really quickly, in addition to the tractor, you do get a... Tr and you can automate these tractors to, like, <laughs> go do stuff. Basically, move resources around for you. You have to put truck stops at the end, wherever you want to go and end, and it will bring those resources. Yeah, and then and I think you have to wait. I can't remember what button it is to record and do all the things. It's in the C oh, menu. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Start so recording. You can, yeah, do your recordings, enable enable autopilots, and all of that. So you know where we're gonna go. We're gonna go get coal, and we're gonna set up the coal plants. So then that way we can make way way more. Um, power so then we can do the overclockers so we can upgrade all the things so then we can make the reinforced iron plates and i'm heading to coal now all right you're heading over to the coal ah, deal ah, ah, oh whoa, 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 oh there. i think ah. this is like across a ravine is it not yeah but we can get to the edge of the ravine and then do the uh whoa stop 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 stop, 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 stop. Park, Dude, be park. careful be careful park. oh there's a baddie down here not just me kill him kill him I'm trying. I'm trying to. There's no way I can put this on a hot bar. Ah! Ah! Don't hit me. There he comes. I don't see him. There he's just stuck on you. What? You got it, John. You got this. Oh my God! Get him back here. He's running. He's Dude, you he can hit him with your truck and it stuns him. You he's got dead. it, John. You got this. He's dead. He's dead. I'm another one. There's another one. Where? Where? Oh my God! Ah! I punched. I punched him in the face too. The face girl. Nailed nice. This. So the coal is over there. I think what we should do yeah. is actually place a conveyor up high. Foundations, dude. And just run a conveyor over and run over. Oh, you think we should do that? Okay. Can can you reach the other side? Mm-hmm. Let's do so this. So I'll put a conveyor right here and then run it over to the taller one. Perfect. <laughs> that's but you have it running Okay, that's fine. You go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> it's fine, man. You mean he's the meanie. Oh wow, I have a, such a long latency between stuffs and then right over there. It did it before. There it is. There, where was it? Right, right there. Ah. I am not going to walk over there until I see it because, you know. Uh, fire guy. One of the fire yeah. guys is here. Fireball. I got this. You got, I got it? This, even though I got like two HPs. You better run. <laughs> And yeah, there it is. And there's another one on the other side. There's another fireball dude. What's up, bro? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there's a fa there's a satisfactory S over there, or the the the, 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 the yeah. I don't think the it's a satisfactory. Sparkle? I think it's just that. Remember the S's people used to draw on desks in school. Where is it? The smog and flicker? Yeah, it's Flurgan over there Flurgan? on the edge. Oh, dude, what is that other thing? There's another thing. Oh, dude, what? Oh, those are those are the evil those are the evil fairy butterflies. Watch out. They're evil, but watch out. Watch out. Okay. I'm going to go get the Sama Fog. So good. What? Wait. wait oh, oh, there they come. They're coming for you, man. Ah! Wait, where'd they go? They're coming for you, lol. <laughs> I don't even see them. Where are they? They're, they're on you. You're dead. I don't see them. No, they, they didn't show on my screen. You killed them all. You're amazing. Oh, okay. Cool. I Because I, I didn't believe they were there? Yeah. Okay. That Power worked. of the mind, man. Secret power. Wow, it works in the games too. Okay, uh, this makes me scared. What? Don't even come near me and zerp me in the back while I'm out here. <laughs> hey, slip! Ooh, I found <laughs> sulfur. 
Uh, yeah, I've, I've seen sulfur before. Uh, I don't know what it's used for. I don't think we have it in the tier three stuff yet. But so, um, right over here, you go ahead. I was going to say, I found a way to not have to hold E while I'm looking at stuff to mine it. You hold E, then press tab to go to your menu, and you'll just keep on mining it so you don't have to hold E anymore if you're lazy. Uh, you know what we didn't bring? A portable miner. No, sir. <laughs> so, but... We have a workshop have a on the back of the truck, don't we? We have a coat. Oh, do we? Yes! Yeah, smart thinking, you're a thinker. I do that sometimes. Your mom uh, run is just amazing. I would say, you know, I know, if I had to follow you to go to the soccer game, I'd trust it. I have a hot mom bod. It's true. Yes, uh, we have a workbench. Craft bench. Yeah, it's in here. No, this is the other one. It's not the work no, one. It's ah. not the portable miner. All right, so we got to go get a portable miner. Come back here. You said there's two coal deals here? No, no, there's one, but I'm able to make two lines from it. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get back. You want? All right. So that's you, you want to get this all set up, and then we'll come back and show everybody our super amazing coal-powered stuff and things? I'm down, if you're down. Let's go, team! And we're back with way more frames when you run the game at full screen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't had that problem. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You were running in full screen the whole time. I haven't mm -hmm. been. Uh, you definitely should. If you're out there, if you're playing at home, uh, I changed to full screen, which I normally never run games in full full screen mode. And uh, boy, oh boy, did that make a difference. Uh, yep, definitely feels good, team. All right, check this out, man. So what we're going to do, like so and like so, right? Mm-hmm. Going to put a coal plant right up over here, wire that bad ombre in like so. I already gathered up a little bit of sexually attractive coal. We're going to squirt it in there to start producing stuff big. And then... Uh, feed it in? Uh, you going to feed it in? Uh, you going to feed it in? Splitter? Like... So, bam, 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 bam. And we have two lines that we can bring off Yep, to bring back to base. So the thing here, too, is if you look at the miner inside of it, you'll see coal per minute. There's 120. And it's already backing up because our conveyors, if you look in your inventory, when you go over conveyor belt, it says yeah. transports up to 60 resources per minute. So the cool thing is, all we need to do, if we run two regular lines back, which are cheaper, is just upgrade this line right here. And it will oh, okay. uh, push out 120, then it'll split into the one. So since this coal thing will normally be full most of the time, it'll push out 60 and 60 for us. And so we can maximize the amount of coal it produces at a default level. Nice, nice. Okay. And it just so, upgrades we, immediately. Bam. It's done. We unlock that, by the way. Oh, how did you do the upgrade? How did... Wait, what? I just pulled it out, and it highlights the existing conveyor to blue, and you click it, and it's done. Oh, no way. Hold on. So you just, like, Q, MK2. Oh, and then you can just click it, and it makes yep. it into the two. And, yeah, and we didn't really tell the people. We did do the upgrade to get that just now. We got the we MK2, and we got this conveyor stacky deal, too. We can stacky stacky. You wanted to go ahead and stack these on the way back? Yeah, do you want to do a stacky stacky? Well, I'm down with a stacky stacky. Okay. Staculizations. The... I'll put this in the top. Like so, and then like uh, so. Oh, you Look got at that! Good deal. Oh my god, we are amazing. Yeah, so this is cool when you put the coal plant here. I mean, they're not that expensive, and then that will power the miner forever indefinitely, so you don't have to run power cable all the way out here. And yeah. And we have stackers now. Stacker yeah, two. and like John was saying, Arr. it's pretty cool. We're maximizing the output of the coal by uh, doing this special cult deal thing. And then the reason that we go from the, the reason that we do the MK2 uh, conveyor into two of the singles is because the MK2s are kind of pricey. They require uh, one reinforced plate. plate. Yeah, which is a lot. Yeah. So they're pricey. So this way is a little bit cheaper. And it gives us a reason to use the stackers. Yeah, and it gives you a reason to use the stackers. <laughs> All right, looks good, man. Let's run this back and then set up the coal power generation. That sounds like a plan. Are you ready? Are We're ready, you dude. Ready? Okay, dude. so we've we brought. Look at that. I'm ready. Look, look at that. I know. That looks really nice. Our sexually attractive coal stuff and things are ready to go. Now oh, we just I'm need so the power ready. plant. All right, so the power plants. Uh, I brought made the stuffs. So where's the stack? Let's make the stack face us. Is that look cool? Do you want to face away? I think the stack. Yeah, we need to face us anyway for the conveyor. You want it to go like that? Yeah, is that cool? You want, you want to go? Or do you want like this? I, I was thinking like that, maybe. 
Okay, I like to do a coal overflow at the beginning. Is that okay? Like at least one or two storage boxes. Like when do it comes in, thing, if, if something happens, we'll, how about like this? And then like maybe one more next to it and then we can feed it back out. Perfect. I have no idea what you're doing, but let's go with it. See what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and merger this thing together. Do we need to raise the, the conveyor at all anymore? Because we're going to bring it down. Probably, probably raise the roof a touch because um, it, if we don't, we won't be able to drive underneath it. So we probably have to go like that, actually. Hmm. Uh, hmm. We could try this and see. Because you can't drive the trucks underneath. Maybe we need to just put another foundation down or something then first here and raise this what? merger up. I have no iron plates. Oh. I'm going to go get some of those. See what you can do over there. It'll be great, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to put but down one know. foundation on this corner. I'm going to put maybe a half foundation to make it look like it's stepping up. How about that? Try it. See what it does, man. Do your thing, man. Oh, it doesn't. It's not thick enough. Oh, it might. No, it's not. That's fine. We'll make this happen. Uh, merging, mer merging, merging. Control. I really like the control thing for the grid. That's super nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can control when you're on the on the ground. Yeah. Oh, the storages are off. Can't have that. We gotta have them square on the foundations. We can't have a messy looking base. It's gotta look nice. Mm-hmm. All right, let me see here. So we're trying to get a place where we can maybe come over to here. So the idea is that we're trying to be able to drive through this because you can't drive through these conveyors as we said before. Let's pull this guy off. That guy off. Like so. So that nice. way we'll have a little bit of an area here we can drive through. And hopefully these connect. Fingers crossed. He's done it. So once we bring this back in, once we bring it to our base, uh, like merge them together, we have to use the upgraded belts the rest of the way because okay. it wouldn't be able to handle the load. <laughs> Let's go here. There, merger has been merged. Is there no visual way to check? Wait. What's that? Is this a merger or a splitter? It should be a merger. Did I put a splitter down? I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's a visual way to check, and I think yeah, there the is. three lines. It, it, the three it is lines actually are in. Is in. Yeah, that is a splitter. Oopsie. So we need it's a merger. Good. If you want to merger rise. Can I build it again? Will it all work out like this? Hmm. Even though I didn't connect them. So here we're gonna need enough room left to do the loop back. We're, I'm gonna we're making a loop for the industrial plants, uh, or the coal plants that work. So what this does is it ends up letting us merge this incoming line to a loop that will feed all of our coal plants. So there's a consistent power flow. So any excess coal won't just back up; it'll continue to recirculate, recirculate. And then these storage units are put in here to capture the extra coal. So we have a backup in case something stupid happens that always happens in games. Okay, I don't think anything weird will happen, but that's cool, man. It looks like it'll work. Well, it's it's an excuse I did find to build something you, cool too. I did find out if you um, if you select your or build your conveyors over into a splitter or a merger incorrectly, and then you replace it, it doesn't work. You have to replace the conveyors. Dude, look at those sexy son of a friggers! What? There we go. Dude, look at that coal coming in, man. Tink, 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 tink. I mean, we're doing a lot of these because we can. It's called maximum power. Dude, that's awesome, man. Perfect. Now, did you put an updated graded conveyor between those? You did. Looks good, man. And then in front of these, we need to line up the splitters and we need a merger here. So a merger there it says conveyor merger. So we're good there. And it needs to be like, I can't see if it's lined up here. Let me put a splitter first. Oh, you're up top. You can tell me when it's lined up. Oh, it's we don't have enough green room, lines, dude, right? We don't have a... Ooh. Well, we should have enough room. I hope I can make this happen here. What? That's nope, not we'll... lined up, buddy. 
I can't. That's why I need you to help me out, man. You can see the green lines. The green lines will tell you when it's lined up. There you go. See them? Can I shove it all the way in? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I'd just make it, you know, so you have a little bit of space there so you can make your conveyor fit. <laughs> like, I don't think it matters if it's touching it or not, right? Hopefully there's enough space off these foundations so we don't have to build another foundation. So we're putting these all in a line like that. It's, it's unnecessarily complicatedly cool, I think, personally, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's the input for that. So we're pressing control. Wow, it's when you look, uh, 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 it's bouncing, it's bouncing. Why has it got to be like, I can't just snap. I think, you're, both of them. I think you're trying to make it too compact. Like you, you have space to do what you want. You could just make do it we, a little bit bigger. Do you want to add another foundation or something? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it doesn't have to be. There's no reason why you have to have it be like as small as possible. Are you just trying to do it for the challenge? challenge and then you know the less conveyor space that we use up the less reinforced plates we're going to use I'm, I'm trying to be i'm trying to be economical whilst being technologically advanced yeah because we're know. really green in this game because we're burning coal power mm. <laughs> <laughs> i was surprised that there was coal it really did surprise me that they decided to go with coal power in this age of you know, uh, technologically advanced stuff and things. I was kind of like, why wouldn't they use some sort of alien, clean alien mineral or something like that? Maybe that's down the road me. or something. Maybe they'll have that. Surprise me, they went with coal. Well, uh, the um, other factory games, that's usually the first power anyway, I guess. It's true. The first thing is always coal. All right, and then this some, loops back. Gonna get me some creep. The oldie creep. I got you. There we go. And then this feeds back now. And this is our loop. And we need the merger. I want to see this technologically advanced stuff and things. It's coming. It's doing it. We're doing it. It's just, just take it a minute. It, any minute now. Dude, this thing looks cray cray. Yeah, this is like from my Factorio days. Oh, wrong one. Oh, that's a merger. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. And that leads into you. And then this needs to come back around into the sky. Maybe right there. I like putting the, the actual conveyor holder things first uh, to get a nice line and sometimes some good angles. So we just need to connect everything now. I have the ones going into the coal plants. We just need the ones going between the splitters and we should be good. And this will recirculate itself. We have a backup plan. We have everything under control. And there's enough room in between the conveyor loops to put power lines down on. And now that coal will fill up all the coal plants and continue to recirculate. Our coal coming in will fill up the storage plants and uh, storage boxes. And as it comes in, it'll recirculate and refill our loop. And once the loop and the power plants are full, it will always have full power. And we have a nice clean loop of coal. Cool, man. Interesting. Wouldn't you just... Why do you need the loop? Well, you, if the, the, that makes sure the last one and the last, like, as you draw more power and if it were to burn faster, your last few power plants wouldn't get enough coal because these things would be sucking up so much coal. Okay. So if you have it in a loop, whenever it's full, it'll recirculate. And so you have a full, complete conveyor system going on. So as the first one sucks up, there's still extra coal to where it won't be able to suck it up quick enough to where all of them will be able to continuously get a feed of coal. And why are those? All right, man. If that makes sense. Does that make... Why are these stopping? Oh, it's just lagging for me. Is that the better one? No, it's, these are the crap ones. Crap, I did the crap ones. I didn't do the fast ones. And I don't Give have Give the old lights. upgrade? Uh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Does that make sense? All these guys <laughs> need to be upgraded? Yes, sir. All right. Let's grab these. Wow. I'm going to try to see it in action. 
so it'll be super fast and I don't think I did the outlet output from between these either correctly now these are the old ones in here too let me see those are new down there and these guys all right I think that's all set so now it's fast feeding it all in there and as soon as this loop will fill up and it'll be continuously going on and again we have so much power coming in we won't actually have that happen but sh when we expand to make this place humongous this will be able to maintain a consistent energy input from it especially with how much coal we got coming in and then if it doesn't we'll at least have a little michael buffer over here with these two storage containers to, to manage that i think too much sometimes oh uh, no i think i got it man it just took me a second of kind of trying to figure out what what the deal was your reasoning behind it but i think i understand now it makes sense man it does because each time <laughs> each time that we get in copper or well, coal into one of these splitters it's splitting it evenly right and uh, and straight right and straight right and straight so yeah you're gonna get an even amount of of power even though the jennies use it they should be using the coal in an even amount it doesn't matter as you come down the chain here you can see that like each one has a little bit more and a little bit more because it's getting more coal priority there's a priority to the ones that are closer in the chain exactly you. yeah man makes sense so it's 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 all right it's like it's good it works it does i think yeah. it's pretty nice i think it's an excuse to build something neat that's not like just here just run like one conveyor into it too they add some right, more right. more stuff to it but we got it done and we got coal and we have extra power so that means we we're ready like next time i guess to expand to our next plan well, we got to, yeah, we got to hook this guy up to the network and then we can pull down. I think we should be able to pull down all the other power, right? Yep. We have a capacity of 250 megawatts with this setup. Yoink, like so. And then these guys be gone. Bye bye. Biomass burners. I guess we'll have Care. the fuel just for the trucks then uh, go and do like monster truck exhibits and stuff. We can, what? Wait, what? We're going monster trucks? Yeah, we're going to put down like crushed down cars and we're going to build some ramps and jump over them and all that stuff. Oh, dude, we definitely need to do that, man. And we'll sell I'm tickets down. and everyone will be here. Whoa! You just I'm disappeared. I'm down for some monster truck stuff and things. Dude, look at this, man. I'm going to go. I'm going to pee. I'm going to unpee. I just unpeed, John. I, I, I'm going to go to the front and pee. In front of all of it. Look at the sexually attractive coal power extravaganza. It's oh, that amazing. Is nice. That is nice. That looks good. And look at our power consumption based on the capacity. 290 megawatts. Oh, we got two of those biomass burners, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still running over there. But um, very cool, man. And I like your little loop deal. It took me a second to get on board with it, but I'm down. Okay. Well, there you go. And it can be used for other things, too. Like if we have a lot of iron ingots coming in and we need to distribute it evenly amongst a bunch of constructors instead of worrying about like individual lines, you can make a loop between it then run splitters off the end. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Is that, are we good? We're good to go, man. Dude, what a great day. Super power was, stuff and things taken care of. This adds a monumental visual to the base, too. It does. It does make it look really, really good. Did you see? We have a lookout now. Do you want to go to the lookout? Yeah, where's the lookout at? I want to go. It, we need to the truck up. They need to. They need, I wish we could. They need like a, a lookout upgrade because I don't think this one's even big enough to show our, our whole amazing base and how amazing it is. It'd be cool if you could place it like a conveyor and kind of hold it and pull up and it go up higher. Oh, maybe you can. We just don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Let's take out. Let's check out our base. I've been looking at a lot of people's bases. Dude, our base is a friggin' factory, man, for sure. It looks great. Let's see. Let's see. I, I will concur. As what It looks like a factory. Oh, the does, power man. supply grid looks so much nicer. And guess what? We don't have to think about it anymore. Like the biofuel, no. like, are we going to biofuel before we go on a trip? Now it's just like, ah, uh, pollution. Now you just use it for chainsaws and trucks. That's all you need it for. Uh, that's a good band name. <laughs> chainsaws and trucks? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Dude, I'm going to go see them on Friday. You are? Uh, yeah, chainsaws and trucks. They're playing at the crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe for stuff and things. Make sure to follow on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tinder. Twice swipe right. Bye. Bye.